Friday, the 14th of May, and I am here in the south of the CBD on the Gym Love and Mandarin Lines at Elizabeth Key to do our 100 subscriber special. At the intersection of the Esplanade and William Street is Elizabeth Key Station. This is one of the busiest stations on the entirety of the Transperth network, serving the Elizabeth Key water development and the CBD for workers in the offices near St. George's Terrace. Let's proceed into the station. After coming down these stairs, there are ticket machines and an information point, as well as an add value machine, and of course an emergency point. There are lots of closed station smart router processors, and security camera footage up there, and in the middle is a transit officer booth. You can see them in there right now. So let's go in. Off to the right, there are a lot of timetables, probably every single one that exists. Yeah. Remember when the timetables used to be colored? Now they're all just white, the bus ones. That was weird when they were colored. Well, it's weird now. It's just what you're used to. Anyway, let's go down here now. There's nothing much up here on the concourse level. Two sets of escalators to get down. One here and one there. Very close to each other. And then a lift at the very end. As well as a staircase. Here we are, down the stairs, and then here they just meet up, the two stairways into one, because they go around the lift, and now we're down on the platform, and look, a train's arriving in right now, it's very noisy here as it curves around in the tunnel. This one is going to Whitford's. It's a doubly pattern that came from Cockburn. Let's watch it depart. Well, that guy just missed it. Off it goes, and here on the other side, there's also another train that just came through and went to Mandurah. Next one is to Cockburn is in three minutes. And yes, that will also be here on this platform. So, Elizabeth Key is a station in the Smart Rider Free Transit Zone of Perth CBD. It opened on the 15th of October 2007 as a terminus station for the Junlop Line for two months until the 23rd of December, when the Mandarin Line opened and trains began to run straight through Perth all the way down to the coastal city of Mandarin. However, the station wasn't always called Elizabeth Key. 
Upon opening, it was called Esplanade, and so the adjacent busport was also called the Esplanade busport. On the 31st of January 2016, also when all, they made all the timetables white, the station was renamed to Elizabeth Quay to accommodate for the opening of the actual quay. And also the bus station was renamed to Elizabeth Quay bus station, not busport for some reason. And all this renaming meant that a lot of signs had to be changed, and it overall cost $700,000 just to rename the stations. Up here at the main entrance where we started the video is the access to the bus station. You just come up the ramp to, from the station, past these toilets on the right, and then here there is a single escalator which goes up, but you have to take the stairs or the lift down. Here's a good view of the buses at the station. Let's go up. So this is the concourse level up here, it's just a lot of empty walkway space, you can see the station down there, and this is what the top of a bus looks like, but this is just pretty empty, we'll see the rest of the bus station in a dedicated video later on. And on the other side of the road from the station is the Elizabeth Quay area, and this is where you can board ferries. So you can get all three types of transport, transport that Transperth operates from Elizabeth Quay. Here is the ferry terminal. Quick walk away. It used to be over at Barrack Street, one stop away with the blue cat, but now it's right here. And this weird bin which you press with your foot. Oh, no, I don't like that. Okay, let's close it. And now we've come all the way to the end here. As you saw, a lot of seating in the middle of the island platform and screen displays because the city stations have screen displays because they're so busy. But nothing much else here, actually. Even though it's such a busy station, there's not many things here. And the concourse is a really simple... Um, uh, design and then here so now we've come all the way to the end and this is the tunnel towards Perth well away from Perth because the train comes from Perth look down into the emptiness okay let's see a few train clips now
pedestrian passengers, masks must be worn at all times on public transport. Thank you. Passengers, Transperth Trains advises passengers that luggage and personal items must not be left unattended in or around the station complex. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, let's board this train now because we're going to do much more in this video. So today I am going to be doing a one-stop all lines challenge, which means that I have to go one stop on every train line that exists on the network, which I'm going to count as five. Fremantle Midlands, Trindlop Labura, and Armadillo and Thorn, which is counting as one. Armadillo Thorn. Of course, soon there's going to be much more lines with all the new lines being developed. But for now, this is a good challenge that you can do in one place in the Perth CBD where all the lines meet. So, the plan is to start at Elizabeth Quay and take the train up towards Perth Underground, which does count as Junla, but I'm just going to say it's Madura. And then Junla all the way to Leaderville. Walk or run, actually, to City West. Fremantle line to Perth, which will change to a Midland Line train to MacIver, then Armadale 
or thorny line train to Claysburg, where I will end. And then I'll go all the way back, which means that I will actually be on a Mandarin line train on the way back from Perth to uh, Elizabeth Key. So here we are. This train just left Perth now, because while I was explaining all that, we already did the short one minute distance between Elizabeth Key and Perth, the two underground stations on the network. Well, actually, you could count Subiaco as underground too. Okay. Let's continue on this train journey now. Okay, here I am now at the door. We are just passing the Leaderville siding used on event days and for trains to go into the depot. And here we are at the station. Train stopped. Let's get out. Uh, so here is a, the plaque, like at Edgewater, that commemorates the station's opening. Let's tag off. No charge, because this is Smart Rider Free Transit Zone. Up the stairs. And across the footbridge, this clip is sped up a bit. Okay, let's go down these stairs now. Now I know that the green cat is over there, which can go to the city west. But it's usually really slow, and it's not going to depart right now, so it's just going to be harder. Because the connection is 7 minutes it's for the free metal line train. So here I am, running down this PSP. Principal shared path that is. I don't even know the route I'm meant to take, but let's just head in the approximate direction. So here, cross the uh, what is this Cambridge Street, maybe, uh, and then up here towards that big intersection up there. Very busy. And I think there's an underpass here if I'm not mistaken. So here we go, the underpass is on the right. Let's run down this grass to speed this up a bit. Past the bench and bin. Down the hill and into the underpass right here. Perfect place to get stabbed. <laughs> okay, no. That's more like on the Armadale then, not here. Okay, anyway, quickly through here, and now, um, oh yeah, there, I can see the Fremantle line tracks, down there. City West is a bit more to the east, so let's just hurry up. Very shaky camera here. Here we go, City West Station. I beat the green cat like I said I would. 
you've already filmed this station as for its station video. It was actually the first one that I ever filmed, because I thought I'd get quicker to see, but no, not really. Yeah, I mean, it was the first one that I filmed, and then I put it up a few months ago. Anyway, I say anyway a lot, don't I? We need to fix that. Let's recreate this shot of the train pulling in at the signal here that's beyond this fence. So it's only been like one minute on the platform. So it was good that I ran. I wouldn't have made it if I went in the green cut. Here comes the train, which will take us all the way to Mackay. Then I can quickly change for the Armadale Line train if I can get on it on time. Probably not. They usually come at the like exact same time. Oh, I forgot it stops a bit further down the platform because it's slightly longer than the train. This platform. Okay, yeah, it's super busy in there. Let's not film. Here we are zipping around the bend at 30 kilometers an hour, but this is sped up by 4, so it looks like 120. Anyway, oh, I said it again! Don't say it anyway. Okay, here is the Moore Street. Is it Moore Street? I don't know. Neville Crossing, that was closed and is not used anymore. And we're now pulling into MacIver. Let's wait for these doors to open. The A series doors actually just like slide and they open really quickly, see? The B series it takes a bit longer because they like push out. Okay, quickly run now. Run, 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 run. Okay, I'm not gonna make that train. The pedestrian maze is pretty far away. This is basically impossible to do. Switch from Midland to Armadale Line at Mackay for a place because they come at like the same time. So I'm gonna have to wait for the Thorny Line. But that shouldn't be too long, it'll only be a few minutes. And here it comes. I just cut that bit out because there's nothing to see here. We'll cover this station more in depth when we get to M. But here's the Tony Line train now. Four minutes later, I think. Two car, well, I mean, four car A series, like usual. Although this won't be usual anymore soon because 2022 C series are gonna start coming and these are gonna start going. I wonder when the last A series ever will. Actually, probably like 2029, but okay. Yep, let's get in. I mean, I already got in. Quickly open this door. 
I love the doors in between at the articulated sections in the A series. Shame it's not gonna be like that anymore. Okay, we're leaving now. Next stop, Facebook. And here we are, Claysbrook Station, the doors will quickly open and then I can stop the stopwatch. There we go, that's the, our time. Okay, tag off again now, no charge, all this is free because this is still smart therapy kind of thing. Zip up here, 10 minutes, okay. Let's just reflect on this. line, passengers, the next train has been delayed to... Okay, the middle of the train has been delayed. That actually might be really good because it means I can make that connection between the one and the and it's the hive. If it's delayed for a few minutes. Tag back on. And now, let's press this button because why not? 9 minutes, 12 minutes. Oh, that's too close. The next train to... Nine minutes. The train stops all stations. Okay, finally found this quiet spot here in the Facebook depot at the back. So let's just debrief what happened. So I took the Junlop or Mandra line, I guess. I mean, yeah, you, some people would count it as Junlop, but let's just say it was Mandra from Elizabeth Key to Perth. And then we went on the Junlop line to Lee the Real, so that was two. Then I ran from Lille Real to City West. I know the green card exists, but usually that's really slow and doesn't leave for a while after the train comes, so I thought running was better. I made that connection, got on the Fremantle line in time, went straight through Perth, which, because the train changed to the Mandor line. And then we just got to MacIver, ran to the other platform, because I thought that the train was, that the train that was in the platform, the Armadale line one, was actually the one I was planning to catch, but it wasn't, because there was a Thorny line one soon. And then I caught the Thorny line here to Claysbrook. Yeah, so I caught the Thorny line here to Claysbrook, and now I've done all lines. You don't really have to count Armadale Thorny as two. It's marked as one everywhere, yellow, yellow, yellow. And I got a total time of 27 minutes and 50 seconds, because at the start I didn't start it for about 30 seconds after I got onto the train at Elizabeth Key. So that's good score, I think. We're gonna try it again now. We're gonna go straight back where we came from, exact same route. Then this train that's about to come in about five minutes here at Claysbrook to MacIver. We'll do all the same stuff, just this time we'll be at the other end of the train so I can use the MacIver subway. It might be a bit quicker to connect to the Midland Line train, which apparently has been delayed. So that actually might be good, make it easier to catch go through to City West and do the run again, unless a green card just turns up because you know it's going to depart immediately at City West and then we might just take it to Leaderville, save some money and go all the way back to Elizabeth Key and see if I can beat the time. I probably can because maybe these connections from Facebook to Perth will be a bit better. Anyway, that's um, the special. Let's, it's going to be much quieter now because we're going towards Perth. 
just the Fremantle line after City West is going to be pretty busy, but the rest of it's going to be nice and quiet, and have found the nice release with Key. It's going to be busy. And so that's it now. The train is going to come here at Claysbrook soon. Yeah, they're probably going to change drivers as well. Really quiet on Claysbrook platform one, I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. A Midland Line train has actually just come from Perth. So, I don't know. Is that the one that was delayed? Hopefully my connection will be good at MacIver. Yeah. Actually, I think that that train that... Midland Line trains are only every 10 minutes, and the train that's coming right now, that's actually not going to be a good connection then, will it? Maybe I'll go on the next one, the one after, which is just like 3 minutes apart. Um, don't mind. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's do the journey back and see if we can beat the time. Alright, that was a basic recap of everything that I just said previously. Let's watch these trains depart here. Lots of trains to see at Facebook. There's a wait for the train. Okay, two minutes. Let's see if this will be good. No, middle line train's coming in a while. It'll probably be better if it comes next week. gonna catch this one. We're gonna, get a, we're gonna get a better time, better time if we go on the next one. A quick connection at McLeod, we're only like two minutes, so we're going in the subway, so it'll be good. Has just come a new driver.
Macquarie Station now. We're coming just on time, I think. We're gonna skip down these stairs here. Oh, 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 oh. wait, you can't sit in front. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Doing? Wow, Macquarie. Look at that. Yes, yes! They can scare people, but a real game. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're now going to catch the Midland Run train. I think I'm in an absolutely perfect connection here. Wasted no time. Yeah, I already see. Look, see. In the distance down there, a big series. A nice B series train coming in the middle line. Here it is, three car B series. Now this one can take us all the way to City West. And then we can do. Oh, look who else is coming. Australia for the nightly bus. Okay, um, we have to get on this train. Look, look, look. Australia. Let's get in here. There it is. It already says Bumble on it, but. And two car Australians coming straight through the Kaifun. Actually, we're gonna race alongside it now. Wait, it's stopping it as a red signal. Okay, it's got to wait then. That looks really good. Station Perth. Nice this train voice. runs from Perth to Fremantle, stopping at all stations, including showgrounds. Yep. Nice modern voice on the B series, but on the old lines. Hurry up. I used to record it in crappy LG phone. This one has stabilization. Okay. So here we are now. This is the Please find the gap. I think it might get pretty busy now for my film passengers. Yeah. Okay, I'll just normally film to City West.
Here's my stop. That was just one stop, but this is the closest you can get to Leaderville with this bus. Let's get off here. Okay, let's do a quick run down here. And let's cross this traffic light. Hopefully, this one won't take forever either. Well, as well. Um, press the button. Yeah, I didn't bump it. I knocked it. Time machine is camera on wallet and I'm ready. Okay, green line, let's go quickly between here and near the wall. There it is. Not far away, just a quick walk down this path. Run, I mean. And I won't bother crossing the road. Let's just take the spirally pathway up. I don't see any trains in the distance, so it's okay.
there's the green cat down there, and the road which I just came from, and the freeway at this twilight time, looks very nice, and all those cars are polluting, get on the train! just get down to the platform. Back here now. Tag on. My smart rider history is gonna look bizarre. One of the few stations with a small dot matrix display because it just has to say Perth, even though it does keep going to my room. Let's head to the end of the platform. Okay, so we'll recap that now. We just took the Armadale line, the later train of Placebrook and went straight onto a good connection in the fiber, like I said. Jumped all the way to the city west, and then an 81 bus miraculously got stuck in traffic and I caught it, making the journey to here much quicker. I'm still gonna catch the same train, but... I'm train. Anyway, I'm still gonna catch the same train, but there was just less running that had to be involved. Now I'm back here at Leaderville. Let's do a shout out to Australian train vlogger, because why not? Yes. Australian train vlogger makes some videos at stations as well. Just goes around and films some trains randomly, not an organized order like me. So if you just want some variety, go and check that out. And now I think, yes, this is my train. It's already arrived. That's a good shot. One train leaving, one train departing. Now let the final stretch to Elizabeth Key to take off Jin Luff and Mandra lines. Let's get on. Okay, now heading on back up the stairs. There's the train I was just on. Total time there, as you just saw, 
26 minutes and 29 seconds. Take a bit off because I only need to. Oh, so loud. Because I only stopped the stopwatch once I got onto the platform. So about 26 minutes, 20 seconds. A minute and a half better than before. That, that's pretty good. Let's go somewhere quieter. So here is a the water feature, a little bit steep, nice and colorful in the night. Look at the city up there, so beautiful. Nighttime views, deep I don't know if you can hear me over the water. You need a new and quieter place. Look at the views here. Remember when the bell tower was all by itself? Now look at it. The monks there. Okay. Now, look where we are now. Transpers Ferry. Hmm, that'd be a nice way to finish the video. Night Ferry ride. Let's see if there's any services right now. here right now. Okay, let's get one and then the third one the newest one is parked to the little key. Let's see if we can open this window. Can we The newest one actually has a toilet on board, this one doesn't. And it even plays like safety announcements for vessels at sea. Look at the view of the city. It's so long for a city, but not wide. Or the other way around. I don't know. Here we are, about seven minutes later. There's the city. And we have already arrived at South Perth Main Street Jet.
so that is the transport ferry, Shelley Taylor Smith. I hope there was a good ending for this video, that nighttime trip. It looks very nice, doesn't it? The views are incredible. Imagine driving that ferry all day, though. <laughs> no offense, but it's just really repetitive. Anyway, here's the front transport from Elizabeth Key Ferry Terminal. It's a nice little place. It was upgraded a few years back when the station was built. See some ticket machines and a kizak in there. But anyway, that's the end now of this video. Nothing much else to do. So nothing much else to do. Um, you can try, you guys, you can try beating that 26 minutes and what was it, 20 seconds time that I got on the train for one stop on every line. Yes. Maybe you can think of a different route that might be better. I don't know. Yeah. Or you can suggest a different route in the comments. Anyway, let's finish here at the water park with the city views. That's the end of the video. Okay, I said that a lot. Let's end with a shot of the train pulling into Elizabeth Key, the station that this, that this video was actually about. <laughs> yeah, because this is also the Elizabeth Key station video from the start. So we'll end the video with a shot of the train there. Thanks for watching. And yes, here is my face. After about nine months and now 100 subscribers. Thanks guys. And after all that as that train pulls in, I forgot to rate the station. Well, luckily we're still here, Elizabeth Key. Let's rate it five, I guess. It's got everything it needs. It's just a bit small for like a busy city station, but there's toilets outside. It's got a phone boot and bike year round. It's got everything, as well as the ferries and the big bus spot, so it's okay. Two escalators as well. Thumbs up. Okay, bye. Sorry for making this video an hour long. Don't know how it ended up being this long. Yeah, it's the end now. Oh, subscribe. Yeah, this is 100 subscriber special.